Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. And of course, um, provide me with some feedback about the different things that you would like to see on this channel. I upload a devotion every single morning and I provide a variety of content during the week, such as shop with me's, uh, DIYs, decorate with me's, haul videos, and I would like to hear from you about the content that you would like to see. More of what you'd like to see is what I'm trying to say. I'm stumbling around. I've been at, uh, at this channel for about a year. It's coming up on a year here very soon, and I'm still bumbling my way around. So thank you for your patience, and those who have already subscribed, you have no idea how, how much it blesses me um, to get your support. Uh, today is Friday, January the 7th. Happy Friday, everybody. And um, our devotions are coming from Brenda Kuhneman's book called The Daily Prophecy. I love this. It starts with a prophetic word. And that is a word that is spoken from the Spirit of God through Brenda Kuhneman. Her and her husband both operate in the office of the prophet. And they speak the truth in the word. And if that's something that's new to you or unknown to you, I just pray your heart and spirit would be open to hear the truth of the word and not, to not be scared by it. The scripture, uh, there's a scripture reading. Uh, Brenda expounds on it a little bit. And then there's a, a prayer that she has at the bottom that, you know, I pray it and kind of add a little bit of my own, you know, prayer to it. So let's hear the prophetic word this morning. Our devotion is entitled, Extend your hand. Let's hear the word. So the spirit says, extend your hand in prayer today for someone else. Dedicate this day as a day for others. For your prayers for others are as seeds of giving and the harvest of answers to your own prayers and needs shall burst forth on every side. That is interesting to note that just dedicating a day to pray for others could bring a harvest of answers for your own needs. So if, if you're like I have been in the past, your prayers are going to be filled with everything that you need, everything that you're struggling with, everything you need a breakthrough on without really thinking about any, any others. I'm guilty. I've been there. I've done that. I know exactly what it feels like because We've been taught or trained that that's what prayer is. We go to God with our problems, and yes, that's part of it. But the other part of that is standing in the gap and praying for others, praying for your country, praying for your leaders, praying for Israel. That's, you know, when he says pray without ceasing, you know, I could run out of things real quick, but when you have a, you know, a list of things to follow, and it's as the Spirit leads, you definitely don't want to get into a rote, methodical, vain repetition to where it's kind of checking the boxes, if that makes any sense. You want your prayers with the Lord, your conversations with the Lord to be authentic cries from your heart. And so being in that relationship with the Holy Spirit, you know, you can ask him, bring to my heart those that I need to be praying for. And of course, reaching out to people too reaching out, finding out how they're doing. Do you need prayer for anything? Or when someone says, pray for me, this, that, and the other, don't just put up the uh, praying hands uh, emoji. Actually take the time to pray. It doesn't have to be some long prayer. It could just be a prayer where you're like, Lord, be with them and help them in the midst of this surgical or medical issue. You know, help them as they're grieving the loss of a loved one. You know, those different things that you can pray that people put up. But, um, Taking a day to just consider other people's feelings, other people's prayer needs, other people's wants, you know, those things you know that they need prayer for. That is interesting because, you know, I had my prayer time this morning early. I took my friend Annette to the airport. She's headed to um, Atlanta for a wonderful two-day conference and then back home to California next week. And so, you know... I was up very early. What a wonderful joy it is to have friends and to be blessed with the gift of their friendship. So I'm going to miss you, Annette. <laughs> I know she watches this. 
But I was praying for her all the way home from the airport, praying for safety of travel, praying for her as she's going to be attending that conference for her to absorb everything the Lord wants her to absorb from that conference, learning clarifications, networking, divine appointments and connections because he's leading her. He is leading her. And I was coming into agreement with that. And when two or more agree on earth concerning anything, the word of God tells us in Matthew, it shall be done. Not it could be done. It might be done. It shall be done. So let's, uh, our scripture actually comes from the book of Ephesians chapter six, verse eight, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man does that does the same shall be, shall he receive of the Lord whether he be bond or free. Whatever good thing you do, you shall receive from the Lord the same you shall receive. So you're praying for a prayer. You're going to receive the answer prayer. So let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. Often when we speak of giving, we think of giving finances. Of course. That is one of the most important forms of giving because Jesus said our heart and our money are connected. Think about that. In Matthew 6, that's found in Matthew 6, 21, simply put, we reap what we sow or you get back whatever you give. If you give chintzy, you're going to receive chintzy. If you give generously, you're going to receive generously. They use the agricultural uh, metaphor because it was an agricultural society back then. And anybody who's a farmer knows you can't just lay down one seed, you know, you have to throw out handfuls of that when you're sowing your fields. And when you sow generous seeds, you're going to receive a generous harvest. It's that simple. And if you feel you're on the chintzy, skimpy side of giving and you want to change that, but you're kind of scared because you don't understand it because you're kind of in a prison of poverty mindset, Ask the Lord to change that. And if you're not sure if you have a poverty mindset, ask the Lord to show you. We need to be open to learn and understand the mystery of the sowing and reaping, seed time and harvest. We need to understand that because that literally is a law in place in our lives and in our world. And we want to be on the prosperous side of that reaping. Okay. All right, let's see. Yet consider today another form of sowing and reaping that will encourage you in those areas where you are needing answers. It's sowing seed in prayer for someone else. Jesus sowed this type of prayer seed when he prayed for his disciples in John 17. Jesus prayed this amazing prayer for others while facing his own time of personal challenge prior to his death. His prayer seed produced a blessing in return, not only as a harvest of souls, but it prepared the way for his glorious resurrection. Sowing prayers for others, especially during your own times of trial, will reap a harvest of answers to your own needs. Give someone the seed of prayer today and watch what God will do for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes in another area. Let's pray the prayer today. Dear Lord, right now, I just lift up all of those that are watching this and I pray for them today. I ask that you will move powerfully on their behalf. I ask you to meet their needs and keep them safe and protected. And I pray they would experience a fresh touch of your presence fresh revelation and complete peace in Jesus name for all those Lord who struggle with this in their lives, who don't have a better understanding, who desire a better understanding and a deeper connection. I pray Lord, as they seek your face, even in the simplest of forms that your Holy spirit would come and answer them and they would feel your, your draw and they would respond to it. And Father, I give you the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. I hope that's encouraged you to pray for others today. 
Uh, have a wonderful weekend and make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye until next time.